Shalom ya Allah. Afganasta basin. Kal ala yamla yahawa ba shem yahawshai ba shem kakodash. All praises be to our power yahawa ba shem yahawshai ba shem kakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us well, well and will well, well. Salutation to the Akiam that's in highways and byways doing this work and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And much respect unto the Akiam and Aqua that's in this truth that step in the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh. Wa Yahweh Shamashiach. Shalom, Shalom. To this lesson, it's about. Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai is visit, visiting Babylon, aka Egypt, aka the wicked city, the wicked nation, with tempest, pestilence, and the downfall of their economy. Babylon is being visited with plagues from the Mosai Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Right? And that's the time that we're in right now. Right? Let's read it. The second address, there, 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the sign pass, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it's the very same time where Antichrist will begin to visit the world which he made. See? The old Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai is visiting the wall, which he made, right? And he's visiting them with pestilence, tempest, and the downfall of their way of life. Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai is bringing down Babylon. Like he said, Babylon is falling. And it's falling. Right? And Yahweh power is doing all this because he wants to. Because it's time that the Lord is doing those things, right? Because it's the time for prophecy has to be fulfilled. Okay, let's see. Let's watch the video. That. This is from ABC News. Dallas area hit with once in a thousand year flood. All right, let's play it. With the historic and devastating flooding in Dallas, we have just learned it has now turned deadly. The rescue is underway all day today, and tonight more than 17 million Americans are on alert for flooding into the night with the system now on the move. In Dallas-Fort Worth, more than nine inches in 24 hours, the highest total in 90 years. And outside Dallas, one area reporting 15 inches of rain. The high water rescues to get to families and drivers stranded all day today. The rain falling so heavily and so quickly. Drivers caught by surprise near downtown Dallas. These images from Interstate 30. Dramatic rescues from flooded underpasses. Firefighters plunging into neck-high waters. Uh, pulling drivers from their submerged vehicles. Elsewhere, the rushing water carrying cars away and simply dumping them. Cars piled up, a truck teetering off the wall. Neighborhood streets turn to rivers, flooding homes, rescue teams helping families make the dangerous journey out. Tonight, this flood threat is now pushing east. Multiple states facing flood watches and alerts at this hour. So Ginger Z is standing by on that. But first, ABC's Will Carr leading us off from Dallas tonight. As you see, multiple states and, and, and Babylon is, is being flooded. And, it's, and the storm is moving east. It's moving in uh, 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 other towns and other cities and other states. Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha is not playing. Yahshua Allah, that's why you should repent, Yahshua Allah. You so called black Latin and American, Yahweh power is calling you to repent. It's not it's not only uh Esau Eden that's been that being plagued uh, by those storms, by the floods, right? By the tempest. You too, Yahshua Allah. You so called black Latin and American, you've been affected by those things, right? Tonight, a once-in-a-thousand-year rain event swamping the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Look at some of these totals. Southeast Dallas, potentially over 15 inches of rain. Bulk Springs, where there was a lot of problems, over 12 inches of rain, so a foot of rain. The rain moving in fast overnight, inundating urban roadways. Caught people off guard, but I think everybody wasn't anticipating this much rain this fast. 
many trying to get through, their vehicles stalling in the floodwaters. Near downtown Dallas, this incredible scene captured by a storm chaser's drone, showing first responders swimming on Interstate 30, trying to reach stranded motorists, directing them to higher ground. Receding water revealing this pickup truck atop a highway barrier. And the rain kept coming long after sunrise. So many cars have been stranded and abandoned in these floodwaters after we've seen more rain in the past 24 hours than this area normally gets in an entire summer. East of Dallas and Balch Springs, families and their pets rescued from their homes surrounded by rapids. The current's so strong going past my house, you, you, it'll wash you away. Monsoon rains combined with the tropical system brought widespread flooding across the southwest all weekend. And in Utah's Zion National Park, crews searching for Jaytel Agnahotri overdue from her hike, missing after flash floods tore through the park Friday. I mean, it's frustrating. It's already day three for us. And we haven't found any clue except the backpack. Searchers finding another injured hiker who was swept away, taking them to the hospital. David, tonight as that storm system shifts east, the county judge here just announced the first death related to this flood system. He also just announced uh, a county disaster, hoping to help everybody here in Dallas County. David. Extraordinary pictures coming in from our station, WFAA, and our thanks to you, Will, as well. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right. As you can see. How Baba Bashin Yao Shai is visiting Babylon with tempest, flood, right? And storm all over the states. Oh, and almost all and, and majority of the states is getting flooded, right? And it, it today, just now, like like an hour ago, uh like uh there were flood, there, there were a lot of what a lot of rain right now, right? Thunder. Lightning everywhere, right? And the Lord is visiting this place. You see, that's the, something you hardly see out uh, in, in Massachusetts, like, especially on those times, right? Let's get a couple of scriptures about that, right? Let's go to Psalm. Psalm chapter 11, uh, verse 5. Let's start at 5. Yahweh power tried the righteous, but the wicked in him that loved violence. His soul hit it. Taylor is telling you, he hit, hit the wicked and those that love violence. And upon the wicked, he shall win snares, fire and brimstone, and horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. See? Taylor is bringing all those things upon, upon Esau, Edom, the wicked of the earth. This man, because this man love violence. He have done violence against Yahshua Allah and it goes against all the nations of, of the earth. And the Lord is is putting all those things in the cup of Esau Edom. Right? And all of them that hate violence. And all our people that join unto him are gonna pay with him. Right? Let's go to Psalm 82 and 15, right? Psalm 83 verse 15. So persecute them with tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. You see? Like, like the man said in the video, storms, flood, right? Tempest, high rain, right? Flash waters. You see? All those things, the Lord is persecuting them. The Lord is persecuting Esau, but they refused a, a, to give praise to the Most High, to worship Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai for all those things, right? They're giving. Uh, Benefits uh, to the nature and said uh, it's man made. You see? And, and the Lord is not getting uh, it's, due po it's, it's due for all those things that the Lord is doing up on the earth when he's visiting the earth. Because Esau got no fear of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai Mashiach. They have, they have, they don't fear Yahweh power by Hashem Yahweh and that's why he's persecuting them with that tempest and make them afraid with the storm. And they've been afraid with the storm. They say one in a thousand years, storm, tempest, and flood. Right? Let's go to Isaiah. Right. Isaiah 
Isaiah 28, verse 2. Behold, Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai have a mighty and strong one with which is the tempest of hell and destroying storm. You see, that was a destroying storm. Right? As a flood of mighty waters overflowing. That was a flood of mighty waters overflowing, right? Sweeping people, sweeping houses, sweeping cars away, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. You see, the word is casting all those things down to the earth. In, especially in Babylon, in all the cities, in all the states in Babylon. And that's exactly what the Lord, Yahweh, power by Hashem, Yahusha, is visiting this earth right now. And if you see in Babylon with the Egypt, right? Let's go to 29 and 6. Uh, 29 verse 6. Those shall be visited of the Lord, of Yahweh, of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire see all those things has come are coming up upon babylon to destroy it yahweh power by hashem is not gonna heal this place yahweh power by hashem is here to destroy babylon destroy esau with all kind of plague And flame of divine fire. Next thing to come is divine fire. It, it, it flame of divine fire is coming. This missile, this nuclear missile is coming for Babylon. Earthquake is coming for Babylon. Thunder. There was thunder. When all those flash went, eh, went up, happened. Thunder, lightning is happening all over the earth. Right? Let's get Isaiah 30 and 30. Isaiah chapter 30 and 30. And Yahweh power shall cause this glorious voice to be heard and shall shoot the lightning, lightning, lightning down of his arm and the indignation of his anger and with the flame of a divine fire with scattering and tempest of hailstones. See, tempest. The Lord's tempest when, when you see a tempest, you see flooding, you see a wind, you see air, right? The air being in trouble. Flooding. Storm, that's what tempest mean, right? High wind, right? All over the place, scattering. That's what's going on right now, okay? And America is known as the Assyrians too. For though the voice, for who the, the voice of Yahweh shall be the Assyrian be beating down, which smote with the world, right? The Lord is beating down Babylon, the Assyrians, okay, the Egyptians, okay? With all those things, with all those plague, okay, and that's exactly what the Lord is doing, it, right? And let's see what's going on right now. And the Lord is bringing like uh, Babylon downfall from the AP associated press, right? Draw Dow drops a thousand points, thousand and eight points after Fed's power. Say wait, we stay high. See, yeah, how power by Hashem Yahusha is bringing down Babylon, is making down Babylon, is falling, it's falling, right? See, after Lord is smiting, is smoting Babylon with all kind of um, with all kind of pestilence, flooding, tempest, and everything like that. Slowly but surely, the Lord is bringing this place down. With the flood, with the storm, they they, they have to spend billions of dollars, and with, uh, with 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 the economic, uh, with the Dow job, they're losing trillions of dollars, right? The Dow Jones industrial average sank more than a thousand points Friday, after the head of the Federal Reserve dash Wall Street hopes that it may soon is up on high interest rate. And in its effort to tame inflation, see, we're in inflation right now. The SP 500 lost 3.4 percent, its biggest its biggest drop since mid June, after Jerome Powell said the Fed would likely need to keep interest rate high to slow the economy for some time, to slow the economy for some time, in order to beat back the high inflation sweeping the country. You see, Yahweh power by Shimei Oshai. 
is putting the inflation upon Babylon. Right? It's putting those plagues on Babylon. So the Lord can can break down Babylon brick by brick with storm and economic downfall. Right? And one of those things, right? Zephaniah. Let's go to Zephaniah. Right? Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 10. Let's go to 10. And it shall come to pass in that day, said Yahweh power, that there shall be the, the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and an awling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. The Dao, the, 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 the Dao, right? It's one of. The Dow Jobs, right? It's one of the crashing of the hills. And his job being since June, that's one of the biggest uh job since June 2022. That was like two that was like two months ago. There, there, there was a job that happened in March, that happened in, in April, that happened in February when the war started. See, the Lord is, is, is smoting uh Babylon, aka the Assyrians, aka Egypt, with plagues. That's Allah in your how power by Shinyang Shai. And there's a crash in the hills because inflation, right? Babylon is in inflation mode. That's exactly, that's ex and that's exactly what's coming. And depression is coming. It's inflation now, and then depression is coming. And that's exactly why we are in Yahshua. Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha is doing it. Let's go to Isaiah Isaiah 25, sorry, 24, verse, uh, verse 8. The mirth of tablets cease, the nurse of them that rejoice in it, the joy of the harp cease. You see? When the Dow is high on the mountains, those in the Dow, Dow market, right? You see? Black, the Wall Street, they rejoice when that thing is up, but when it's down, everybody is silenced. There's no partying. There's no, there's no popping the bottles out here no more, right? And the joy of the harp sees. There's no music in there singing. Those investors, they're not happy no more. Because at any time, the, the Dow can drop 2,000 points, 3,000, 4,000 points at any time. You see? They shall not drink wine with song, with a song. They're not going to drink wine. If they drink wine, they're not going to be happy. Strong drink shall be battered to them that drink it. You see? There's no happy moment with this with these things that are coming, with the economic downfall that's coming to Babylon, to Egypt. Right? Verse 10, the city of confusion is broken down. The Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha is broken this place down little by little. Right? With kind of plague, with, kind of, with all kind of plague. Pestilence and diseases, right? And with the downfall of the economy. Every house is shut up that no man will come in, and that's what's coming. A lot of nation doesn't want to do business with Babylon no more. Like Russia, China, they bring out their own a digital money. Babylon currency is no longer uh, the petrol dollar no more, right? It's, it's no longer the top dollar no more. Verse 11, there's a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. The mirth of the land, the happiness of the land is gone. Especially from the noble of Babylon, the king of Babylon. Right? They're not rejoicing right now, especially today. Because they're losing billions and trillions of dollars. Right?
sit in the city of left is left desolation and the gate is meeting with destruction babylon is meeting with destruction with destru a destruction smiting and smoothing with destruction on every side economically with storms and with pestilence yeah how power bashing actually destroy the was one with this place verse 13 when those when thus it shall be in the midst of the land among the people they shall then there shall be as the shaking of an olive tree and as the gleaning grapes when the vintage is done the vintage is done in babylon because the, the lord is meeting this land smoothing the land with destruction pack pack your bag babylon the vintage is done it's dust said yahweh power by hashem yahushai right and let's go to jeremiah 51 Jeremiah 51, verse 9, verse 8. Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. Hold for her. Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We hold her heal Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. And let us go every man unto his own country. For her judgment reach unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Babylon cannot be healed because Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha is visiting this earth, is visiting Babylon. That's why Babylon cannot be healed. Yahweh, verse 10, Yahweh have brought forth our righteousness and come and let us declare in Zion the work of Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, our power. You see, we de declare the word of, of the Lord in Zion. See, the, the elders, the prophets, is declaring the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Verse 11, make back the house, guarded the shields, the Lord have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it. Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai device is to destroy Babylon in any kind of way. Because it's the vengeance of Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. It's the vengeance of the Lord upon Babylon. And, and it's, it's in the Lord's mind to destroy it. After the Lord is destroying it, first and foremost, with storms, with earthquake, with pestilence, and with the downfall of the economy, and then with fire and brimstone, that's how the Lord is going to destroy this place. Jeremiah 51, verse 11, verse 12, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. We're standing the standard of Babylon, of Babylon by speaking the word of Yahweh, why Yahusha Mashiach, make the wise strong. We're watching and set up the watchmen, prepare the, ambu the ambush for the Lord, Yahweh power, have both devised and done that which he speak against the inhabitants of Babylon. The Lord is doing what is exactly what he has said against the inhabitants of Babylon. Right? And that's the time we are in right now. And that's why we're rejoicing. If you prophets, if you, the elders, standing with the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and all the prophets and teachers that's in the highways and bowers doing this work in truth and sincerity, you should rejoice of the devising that the Lord have against Babylon. For the Lord of Babylon, or the, the Lord that the Lord have devised against Babylon is coming to pass. Rejoice the heavens. And he that dwell in them, because the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, is devised, and it's the word is speak, as he speak against Babylon, are coming to pass, Yahshua Allah. Right? Exactly. Right? Let's go to Jeremiah 28 and 8. Jeremiah 28 verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of all prophesied both against many countries 
and against great kingdoms of war and evil and of pestilence. That's what exactly what we're doing, Yashala, you so called black Latino American. And it's your job if you're a prophet of, of Yashala, the prophets, the prophets of Yahweh, why Yahusha Mashiach, you should prophesize against many countries and again, great kingdom. Babylon, aka America, is a great kingdom, aka Egypt is a great kingdom of war and of evil and of pestilence. Okay. That's exactly what's going on here, Yasha Allah. We prophesize against Babylon, right? What's going on? And that's exactly the time that we are in right now, Yasha Allah. And we're not playing. And Yahweh, powered by Shem Yahusha, is not playing with Babylon. Right? Let's bring that thing up. See, uh, this is an article. I'm not gonna uh, to say the name. The name is uh, but it's the thing. It's because like when you print this article up, so now they give you your 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 uh your your channel a strike, right? Unusual disease are killing not animals in large number all over America, right? You see, diseases, right? We are called pestilence. They're mostly talking about people dying, right? But animals are being killed in large numbers all over America, all over Babylon, all over Egypt, right? It isn't just humans that are being hit with extremely hard but deadly pestilence, you see? In recent weeks, I've written numerous articles about the strange disease that have been causing severe illness and death among human populations in various parts of the globe. See? The Lord when those pestilence and diseases in various parts of the of the world, right? But there are other plagues. You see, there are other plagues. The Lord is sending all those plagues upon Babylon. They are suddenly erupting, erupted, that are affecting us at all. Instead, they are devast devastating animals, population, and so they get less media coverage. But the truth is that some of those diseases. Are extremely serious for example tens of millions of our chickens and turkeys are only dead due to an unprecedented bird flu pandemic right that deeply impacted and pack each one of us because now chicken and turkey are much more expensive at the grocery store and one of more of the diseases that are that, that I'm going to talk about is in that article could be make jump to humans and if that happened, we could potentially be facing a big time nightmare. That's where we are, Yasha Allah. You see, America, aka Babylon, aka Egypt, is being plagued by the Mosai with pestilence, diseases, right? All over the places, right? And Yahweh, Shah, Mashiach, our Lord and Savior, are prophecies about those things, about talking about those things, right? Let's go into it, all right? Matthew. Matthew 24 and 7. Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilences and earthquake in diverse places. Like we said in the article, with the chicken dying, with the a uh, a turkey dying, with the cattle dying all over the places, right? I think the animals do th the famine is coming. And pestilence and earthquake in diverse places. You see, those famine, those pestilences are in diverse places throughout the globe, especially in America, especially in Babylon. But they are not talking about this in the news. All this at the beginning of souls. All those things at the beginning of souls. Yasha Allah. The souls of Babylon is starting now because the Lord is visiting Babylon with our. Uh, uh, with pests, with plagues, with all kind of plagues. See, all over the globe, especially Babylon, is being visited with, with plagues, right? Let's go to some, right? One of those plagues is pestilence, right? Psalm 
some 78 and 50. Psalm 78, uh, verse 50. Let's start at 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble. You see how power by Hashem is doing it, right? Let's, let's start at 48, right? Psalm 78, 48. He gave them the cattle also to the hell, and the flocks to hat. Tender bones, right? Taylor is destroying them in all kind of ways, right? He cast them upon them, the fitness, the fierceness of his anger, wife and indignation and trouble, fast by sending evil angels among them. He made a way to his anger. He spent not their soul from death, but gave their life over to the pestilence. See? That's exactly what the Lord is doing to Babylon. A.K.A. Egypt, and smote all the firstborn of in Egypt, the chief of their strength, and the tabernacle of Ham. See, the, the, the ancient Egyptians was the land of Ham. But now we are in spiritually Egypt, A.K.A. Babylon, and the Lord is sending plague upon this place, pestilence, storms. Right? Let's get more. Jeremiah 21 and 6. Hey, verse 5. Jeremiah 21 verse 5. And I myself will fight against you. With an office, I, I stretch out hand and a strong arm, even in anger and in fury and great wrath. What the Lord is bringing upon Babylon, and I will smite the inhabitants of this city, both men and beasts. They shall die of great pestilence. See, the Lord is smiting Babylon. With great pestilence. That storm. And financial downfall see that's exactly what the lord is doing to babylon smite them babylon the great city right let's go to isaiah jeremiah 44 13. jeremiah chapter 44 uh, verse 13 for I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt. Yahweh Power is speaking, right? As I punish Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. Yahweh Power by Hashem Yahusha is punishing Egypt, aka Babylon, aka America, by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. And Yahweh Power is righteous in all his ways. Yahshua Allah. Right? Let's go to second address. And close this thing out, right? Second edge, so the fifteen, verse twelve. As a second edge of the fifteen, uh, verse five. Behold, said Yahweh, power. I will bring plagues upon the wall, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. I'm gonna drop down to twelve. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it. Egypt, a.k.a. Babylon, a.k.a. America, is being, is being smitten with plague and punishment. 
Rocket by Yahweh Power by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall be fell to the blasting of hell and with fearful constellation, with the storm, with the flood, with the tempest. What did this what did see happen? And Dallas right there, right? It's not only happening the cities, it happening the crops, burning and famine, right? Verse 15, woe, verse 14, woe to the world and them that dwell in them. Destruction is coming to the world and then that dwell in them. It's especially Babylon, aka Egypt. Right? And the Lord is not playing. Yahweh power by Hashem Yahshua is smitting and punishing and punishing Babylon with the plague, with plagues, pestilence, diseases, and the downfall of their economy. And with that, I hope you brothers and sisters will edify. I'm gonna give all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing, all wisdom belong to our power, Yahweh. Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem Kakodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and wool will well. Salutation to the Akiam that's in Hawes and Bowers doing this work and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the earth. Shalom, Shalom, Abod Babal, come Yashawala.